you're looking for, well, I'm going to tell you what you're looking for. What you're looking for is a piece of a puzzle, a part of you that is missing. It's what you're looking for. Now, as a teenager, I figured this out. Thankfully, as a fairly early, well, as a teenager, I was at a pool party, watching people do what they do at pools, jump in the water, jump out, get drunk, throw up behind the bush or whatever. And I thought, I, you know, I'm a sort of a loner anyway. And I got off by myself and I thought, man. And I was watching everything everybody was doing. And I thought, there's got to be more to life than this. If this is all there is to it, I'm going to be a miserable person. You know, I, it, it's got to be more to life than this. Part of my journey was realizing that I am incomplete. And I sort of realized that at a fairly, well, at least in my teens, I realized something was missing. If I were looking at a piece of a puzzle of me, you know, you lay, or you, let's pretend that you're, you're looking at a puzzle of you, a picture of you. And you got all your pieces laid out on the table and you put it together, but you notice a big chunk is missing. A big piece of that puzzle that you is missing. Okay. So we've found the missing piece of the puzzle. You were created incomplete, deliberately by God. That's the way we all come into the world. You were created incomplete. So Matthew 13 verse 46 says, who then, when he had found the one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it? Okay, now you must purchase the knowledge that will make you complete. All right? Well, what is this knowledge that will make you complete? Well, hold on to your seats because I'm going to give it to you. But first, I've got to digress a little bit. Let's take a look at Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 7. Then, now this is, this is the subject of death, okay? Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Okay, spirit. What is the spirit that returns to God who gave it? It is the spirit in man. We all have a unique spirit that makes us who we are. It makes you unique. You're different. I'm different. We're all different. That's the spirit in man that all makes us unique and different. And that spirit, your unique spirit, goes back to God who gave it. Now, if your unique spirit never unites with the spirit of God, you will die incomplete. Okay? I didn't say you'll burn in hell forever. I didn't say you're lost. I didn't say God has abandoned you or given up on you. I just said that, that if your unique spirit that makes you you, if it never unites with God, you will die incomplete incomplete and you will know it you will know something's missing in my life yeah well what is this knowledge that will make you complete here it is your unique spirit the spirit in man that makes you you must unite with the spirit of god there must be a moment of conception you must receive the spirit of god 